If you've ever tried to join a pickup group for a trial, or if you've ever tried to join a trials guild in ESO, you've most likely been asked by the group leader or the guild member that you're of the guild you're trying to get into, how much damage do you parse? And if you're a new player, you might not have any idea what that means, or if you even have been playing for a bit and know what a damage parse is, you actually might not be parsing correctly and could be shortchanging yourself on that valuable damage you need to be sure you can get into that trials group. So my name is Dots from dotsgaming.com and today i will be showing you guys how to make sure you're doing a proper dps parse and how to optimize your damage to make sure that you can pull as much dps as you can in a trials environment Now, setting yourself up to do a proper DPS parse in the Elder Scrolls Online really isn't all that difficult. It's just all about knowing exactly what to do, what groups are looking for, what's considered a proper parse and what's not considered one, and making sure that you have all of that stuff set up properly is going to be the key for success here. Now, if you have not already, I would recommend checking out my penetration optimization guide, which you can find on my website, dotsgaming.com, and this will be very important to making sure that your physical and or spell penetration is optimized for your character to help making sure that you pull the amount uh, maximum amount of dps as possible so definitely go check that guide out if you have not looked at it already but when you are doing a damage parse if you don't even know what a damage parse is basically you have these target dummies that you're going that you can kill and you can just beat on and when the target dummy dies the amount of damage that you've dealt from the first hit on the target dummy until the target dummy dies is considered a parse it's like a snapshot of how much damage you can kind of pull in a vacuum so to speak and that's kind of what people use to judge how much damage you're going to deal inside of a trial now the three most common dps dummies that you're going to see people parse on are the thrill three million dummy which is just a regular dummy that has three million health the six million which is the one that has six million health and you also have the the iron atronach or the raid dummy which basically simulates buffs from a raid environment as well as gives you a synergy the the uh, blessed shard synergy from like the Templar line that allows you to restore your resources and will basically proc any gear sets that you might have that require a synergy activated. So you have these three target dummy options and every guild you know, requires a different thing, but more commonly than not, you will be wanting to do your damage parses on the 6 million dummy. The reason for that is the 3 million dummy can kind of be cheese sometimes. You don't need as much sustain in your build when you are killing the 3 million dummy. So the amount of damage you deal in your parse could look a little bit inflated compared to when you do the 6 million and you need to make sure that you have the resource sustain. When you're in a trial, the fights are going to be long. They're going to take a while. So making sure you have that proper sustain is really important to group leaders as well as guild uh, trial leaders. So they, that's why they want you generally to do those. So I would recommend if you do want to obviously practice a rotation, the 3 million is perfectly fine. But when you're trying to get into a trials group and you really want to see what you can pull, the 6 million dummy is going to be your friend. Now, what is allowed in a proper DPS parse and what is not? You want to make sure that you have uh, orbs, okay? If you're looking to get, you know, that maximum parse and making sure that you got your resources sustained, you can feel free to have a healer feed you energy orbs so that, or just anybody, feed you energy orbs so that you're able to keep your sustain up because those will be present inside of a trials environment anyway. You can feel free, though, to solo parse without them. But if you are having some sustained troubles, having a friend feed you orbs is perfectly allowed in, tr in trial parses, so that is something that you can do. In addition, if you play a Magicka DPS character, you should be replacing your damage shield with elemental drain and the reason you want to do that is because elemental drain will always 100% of the time be present in a trial. So. You want to make sure that you're gaining the 600 effective magic recovery from Elemental Drain, as well as the 5280 spell penetration from Major Breach. These are very, very important, and if you do not have these things present when you are doing a damage parse, you are going to have a severe lack in damage and sustain. So be sure that you are having uh, Elemental Drain replace your damage shield 
and use that within your rotation to maintain that on a target dummy. Now, if you play a stamina DPS, what should you do? If you do not have um, Major Fracture in your build, so let's say you are a uh, Stamina Necro, you are a Stamina Templar, or you are a Stamina Sork, you can have a Nightblade friend of yours provide Piercing Mark because it will pu put Major Fracture on the target dummy. Again, Major Fracture will be present in every single trial, okay, because of your tank. Whenever your tank taunts something, it puts up Fracture and Breach, which are your penetration debuffs for... Phys uh, physical damage and magical damage. So you're going to want to have a friend put up Piercing Mark to give you your maximum damage potential. So those are going to be what you guys want in terms of outside of uh, outside assistance. Now, I mentioned that penetration guide earlier in the video and the reason that's so important. A proper damage parse, will, you will be sitting at about 12k effective penetration. And I know people are always uh, go, Dots, I have no idea how much penetration I have. How do I know? You can simply add it up. So if, you know, let's say I'm playing on my guy that I'm using, see me, I'm parsing on my uh, Stam Crow right now. I don't have any outside sources of uh, Fracture right now, so this is not exactly a proper parse, but I'm mostly doing it for the footage of this video. You're basically going to want to add up all your sources of penetration together. So your CP, if you have sharpened weapons, any penetration that you get from your armor passive. So if you're Magicka, you'd have that. Uh, any passives that you get from your class. So if you're a Necro, you get some extra passive penetration. As well as that Fracture and Breach buff. If you add up all of those things for a proper damage parse, you should be sitting at about 12k penetration. Again, I really highly recommend that you guys go take a look at that. Um, chart on my website. And the reason you want to get to about 12k is because mobs in ESO have about 18.2k resistance. And the rest of that resistance that you're not penetrating through will be made up from group members inside of a trial's environment. So making sure that you only reach 12k pen when you're doing a damage parse will prevent you from over penetrating inside of a trials environment thus wasting stats that could be used on damage or sustain now you might be saying okay dots i have all this stuff set up i've been parsing until the cows come home and i still am not dealing damage i'm not damage is still really really bad i recommend you check all of the basic things are your weapons gold quality do you have all of your passives? Are you using buff food? I, yes, people do not use buff food sometimes when they parse. Or do you have a Mundus Stone? Are you using your right, the correct potion? You need to be making sure that you use brutality or sorcery potions when you are parsing if you don't have those already present in your build. Make sure you use everything at your disposal when you do a damage parse because that is the most common thing i see when people say dots i'm not doing enough damage is that their character is not properly set up they're missing things okay again gold quality weapons mundus stone potions buff food passives and as well as your champion points and speaking of champion points i'm going to give you guys a little helpful tip if you play on pc once you've finished doing your damage parse okay and let's say you uh, use combat metrics, by the way, as an add-on. You're going to want combat metrics for what I'm about to recommend. And you have your combat metrics parse. What you can do is if you have a second add-on called Constellations, you can import your damage parse from combat metrics into Constellations. And Constellations will help you optimize your blue CP for your specific build and how much damage you deal. Okay? So you're going to want to make sure that your, C your CP is optimized, so definitely check that out if you are having some troubles optimizing your CP. I know early on when I started doing my damage parsing, that add-on helped me tremendously and helped me gain a lot of damage when I was doing my parses. Also, make sure you're light attack weaving in between all of your all of your skills. So you should be going, you know, like just looking again at my Stam Crow, it should be light attack archer, light attack caltrops, light attack endless hail, light attack poison injection, bar swap, you know, so make sure that you're using light attacks in between everything so that you're proccing those enchants, you're getting that free damage. Uh, if you use reliquent as a Stam DPS, you're getting reliquent procced. All of that good stuff will add up over time. And finally, the last tip I have for you when you're doing a damage parse is make sure you start with a full ultimate. Starting with and without a full ultimate can actually make a few K DPS inside of a parse because if you, you might be able to squeeze one more ultimate in throughout that damage parse 
if you start with your ultimate as opposed to if you didn't. And that's going to make, again, a pretty co a couple thousand difference in damage, especially if your your ultimate has a ton of powerful debuffs on it. Like, again, like the Stamina Necromancer or Magicka Necromancer, major vulnerability. So making sure that you have that at the start of your fight is also incredibly important. But that is pretty much it, guys, on how to do a proper damage parse. I made this video quite a while ago, uh, November 2017, and... I felt that my my knowledge now is obviously way more than it was then, so I wanted to update this video with proper information, updated for the current game, um, as well as give you guys everything you need to know to make sure you are doing a proper damage parse correctly. So if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate it if you smacked a like on it. If you have any questions about DPS parsing, please leave a comment below. And for more great ESO content, please hit that sub button as well as hit the bell to keep notifications on. So I want to thank you all so much for stopping by today. I very much appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one.